What's going on, you guys? It's your boy Dylan from the Big D Trucker Show coming at you from California. You're watching TJV Now. Ready to go. Good morning, everybody. Good morning, Portage La Prairie. That's where I slept. Right here. It was nice and quiet. But now it's hot. I couldn't sleep anymore. And I didn't want to idle the truck, so here we are. Up and ready for the day. My e-log says I can get moving very soon. Here's what we're working with today. We're taking this load to Bonneville, Alberta which is sort of just over the border into Alberta from Saskatchewan between Saskatoon and Edmonton. That's the Flying J over there, the truck stop. The pumps are back here behind the truck. Beautiful day outside. It was a little cloudy this morning when I first got up, but rocking some sunshine now. Oh boy, you're all full of bugs. I'm gonna have to wash her down, clean her up a little bit. This is the load I was talking about yesterday. I showed you a clip from uh, today in yesterday's video just to show you because it was so dark when we picked it up. It's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. It looks a little bit like chaotic, but don't worry, I know exactly where everything is. This piece at the back here had to be tarped and it's very sharp steel underneath here. So I had to make sure that my tarp protection are under there on the corners. This red tarp was, was with the trailer. I don't know why it's ours. I, I was sitting on top of here. So I used it instead of mine. It was on the trailer. So red tarps today, my tarps are on top of there. I'm going to return this tarp when I'm done with this load. I've got a load back from Alberta going back home right away. So once I get back home uh, to southeast Manitoba, I'll just drop off this red tarp there at the yard and, and figure out where it goes. These blue ones I pay for up here, those are mine. They match the truck, old blue. Makes sense, right? You guys want to see this side of the trailer? I'd love to show you, but there's mud in my way. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> just take the long way around. It was pitch black when I parked here last night. Yeah, that's the nogger on this side here. Everywhere my strap touches anywhere like these sharp edges, I've got rubber protection in there. Oh, there's already a spider. That's gonna be a terrible home for you, my friend. Terrible, I'm gonna let you live because I'm a good man, okay? And then you get bonus points in heaven one day for letting you live but you can't make a home on my trailer, man. Hey there, little buddy. I won't hurt you, don't worry. I hate spiders, I really hate spiders. I don't necessarily have to kill them. It's just if they're in my home or in my bedroom, uh, they will be dealt with swiftly and effectively and permanently. Throw it here on the trailer. I mean, the little guy, I mean, he's just picked a terrible spot to build his little nest, but, or uh, his web, whatever he's doing. I don't know what they do. Doing spider things over there. Terrible spot, because as soon as I start moving, all the wind is gonna blow him right off. He's gonna have to build one all over again on the side of the road somewhere. Well, whatever, that's his choice, his choice. Time to get going, let's go get a coffee. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna do the e-log crawl all the way over there to the building, a little closer by those parking spots there really hot outside. Can you see it in my face? Wow. What is the temperature out here right now? Oh, it's 30 degrees. 
That's like 80s Fahrenheit. I am melting. Hey, this is Canadian. But I'm not asking for cold weather, okay? Don't get me wrong. I, I don't want the winter back. No, but now they tell us that. Oh, no, 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 no. Now winters are going to get colder and summers are going to get hotter and falls are going to get fuller and springs are going to get springer. It's the way it is now. Everything's just going crazy. One thing we do know for sure is fuel prices are going through the roof. Holy smokes. I paid $2.16 for diesel fuel per liter. That's, what is that, like $7.50 a gallon or something? Let's figure this out right now, because this is nuts. Okay, $2.16 CAD. Is it CAD to USD. That's $1.65 US per gallon. I uh, mean, per, per liter, okay? $1.65 per liter US. Now there is 3.78 liters in a US gallon. So you times that by 3.78, I paid $6.24 per gallon for diesel fuel yesterday. What in the world is going on? Somebody's gotta do something. Isn't that what? Governments are for us to step in and do something? Not make it worse? It's crazy. Put my seatbelt on just to roll across the parking lot. Yeah, what? Safety first. $6 and they say it's gonna go up. Yet, yet you look at the oil prices and the oil prices were higher in 2008 and the gas prices were like half the price. Where's all this extra money going? We're sitting on an ocean of oil here in Canada. I don't know why we're not like frantically pumping it out of the ground right now to bring down these prices. Nothing makes sense to me. Nothing makes sense in this world. That's my rant for the day. I got it over with. First thing, e-log crawl it over here cool myself down a little bit. I need to go get a coffee. I'm grumpy. And people ask if it's been affecting us a lot. Uh, fortunately, it doesn't really affect us truckers here anyways as much because the, the rates have to match the fuel price. It has to cover the fuel price, right? What happens is it gets passed down the line to you, the consumer, at the end of the line. That's why all, all the price of everything is going up at the grocery store, at the, you know your parts store, everything. Like I'm bringing this tin and steel out there. It costs a lot more money to bring it to Alberta than it did last year. So it's more expensive in the end. It's just like runaway inflation. It's just crazy. And they don't seem to be doing anything about it, you know? They don't seem to like be worried about it in Ottawa. Like they're just, oh yeah, yeah, this is how it is now. This is how it is. This is, this is, we meant to do this. This is a good thing. This is a good thing. It's like when someone shoots you in the, in the shoulder and you're like, ow, my shoulder. And they're like, no, 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 no. That's a good thing. You didn't need all your blood. You don't need all your blood. That's a good thing. Enjoy the pain. You're not allowed to dissent. You're not allowed to question the powers that be. Nope, nope, that is not allowed. I really need my coffee. I hate leaving her idling while I go in to grab a coffee. But I've got my, uh, my computer rendering a video so I can't shut it off right now. Everybody ready to go? Buckled in. We're gonna head over to Balgoni, Saskatchewan, stop there for a shower, and then continue our way up to Alberta. We should get very close to our destination tonight yet. It'll be a little late, but uh, we're on a funny schedule again. And that's okay. Make it work. Here we go. All aboard.
stop here for a shower. Let the world know I am stopped. I am no longer driving. Shut her down. Grab some spare clothes. Or new clothes, fresh clothes. I don't know what you call them, spare clothes, new, whatever. Clean clothes. Oh, I'm gonna go get running, have a shower, grab a coffee. Uh, we're not quite halfway down the day yet, so we'll be driving into the night. That's okay. It's uh, six o'clock here right now. Have another 725 kilometers of driving to go, so that's a 400 and some miles. Oh, we should arrive. Well, if we would drive straight there now, we'd be arriving at 2 a.m. local time. But uh, we're not going to be driving all the way there today. We'll go pretty far. Maybe we'll go up to uh, Lloyd Minster. Maybe a little further. We'll see. Let's see what happens. Okay, once you get all your stuff ready for the shower, so you're ready to march on in there. You go into your app, Pilot Flying J, and you can reserve it right from here. Your app already knows what location you're at because it's stalking you like that and it's super creepy. It already knows where you are. So you don't gotta tell it where you are. And then it'll tell you how many showers are available. And uh, you just say reserve shower. And as long as you use your uh, your points card when you fuel, you get a free shower all the time and points and stuff. For some reason my app isn't opening now though. Everything's still there, that's always a bonus. Feel exactly 1000% better. Not 1,001, just 1,000% 1, better. Clean, shaved my head, trimmed my beard. Ready for another seven hours of driving. All right, that stop did take a lot longer than I wanted it to, but it is what it is. You gotta keep yourself clean. Some of you need a little reminder. <laughs> Put on some deodorant. Have a shower. <laughs> every day. Like every day, not once a week. Not every day. Oh, look at here. What a beautiful day to be a truck driver. Look at that, all four matching quintuplets or quadruplets over there. Quadruplets, that would be the word. That's cute. See those five red Peterbilts? Or four? Oh, geez, I can't count. I don't have to count, I just have to be able to keep it between the lines. Ugh. Really warm out here. We're off to the races. The 62 mile an hour races. <laughs> I can go faster than that. I just choose to uh, keep it at 62 for fuel economy. I get the best fuel economy right there. I could get better if I went slower, but uh, 62 is plenty slow enough. If I need to go faster, I can go faster. If I need to get out of somebody's way or pass somebody, I got the horses. Still got this funny construction going on in North Regina, eh? You know what would be really cool is if GPS could update in real time for construction, tell you what speed limit it is, tell you where the detour goes. Like, wouldn't that be cool? They're fixing that, uh, is there a bridge that they're fixing over there or something? I don't know. We got this weird little kerfluffle to go through here now. Looks like we got a green light though. <laughs> hey, I like green. Stay green, stay. Kilometers. Turn left on Armor Creek Road. Karen, you have no idea what you're talking about right now. Look around you, construction. That way, okay. It's always a little bit confusing. Luckily, I've been through here a couple of times now. 
The first time, I was so confused. Remember, two-way traffic. Sad that they have to remind people. Like, you know that there's people out there that are like, Oh, I didn't realize. And would try to pass everybody. There's those people out, that's why, that's why we have those signs. They exist, and they can vote. Isn't that scary? Look at this guy, he's gonna push his way past me. You've gotta be kidding me, man. Pushing me onto the shoulder. Oh, don't wave at me. I'm not happy to be doing this for you, man. What are you doing speeding through here with a load that wide? No pilot vehicle. You got one behind you. Look at this. Ha! Huh. Usually, you'd remove the header off the combine so that it's not so wide going down the road, but... And here comes his pilot vehicle, which is behind him. Shouldn't you be in front of him, bud? Maybe the permits are a little different here in Saskatchewan, but I'm pretty sure I got the same permits as you. Uh, I think you're supposed to have someone in front of him. At least we have a paved shoulder here that we can hit, right? But What if there was a parked vehicle on the shoulder right when I was being pushed onto the shoulder, and then suddenly you got someone parked on the shoulder up here or broken down, where am I supposed to go? Right? Another reason not to park on the highway, on the shoulder. <laughs> you never know. I wasn't too impressed with that move. gonna stop in Saskatoon. I'm like, no, 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 we'll go to the Battlefords. We'll go to North Battleford. Go to North Battleford. There's no truck parking there anymore. The Petro Pass that was there is gone. They're renovating it or something or destroying it. They're doing something. Can't park there. So I figure, okay, okay. We'll find somewhere to park between here and Lloydminster. And I keep trucking. And I keep trucking. And I see one place to park and I go, oh, too late. Past it. Too past it. Whatever, too late. I'll keep going. There'll be another place. And another place. Goes past. Oh, too late. Too late. Couldn't turn in there. I always saw them too late. I don't want to turn around. I'm like, I'll just keep going. I got the hours on my e-log. Karen wants to keep going. I told her, we have to stop. I'm tired. She wants to keep going. E-log says I got almost another two hours left. I'm like, oh, I'm tired. Everybody's trying to push me. Everybody's trying to pressure me to go further. I'm like, no. Time to go to bed. <laughs> so we made it all the way to Lloydminster, Alberta, the Alberta side of the border. I have two more hours left to my destination tomorrow. It's two in the morning here right now. No, 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 it's not two in the morning. It's 2.30 in the morning. Central time. I'm in Eastern time. No, wait, I'm in Mountain. I don't know. I, I don't know what time zone I'm in. I don't know what dimension I'm in right now. I'm so tired. 1.30 a.m. here. So we drove pretty late again. I always do that. That's the kind of schedule I always find myself in on the road. I just work best on that. I like driving into the night and waking up later. I like waking up with the sun and the warmth of the day. I, I find that my days go better that way. I, I'm happier. I don't know. It's just me. So 
So uh, I'll wake up here. I have another about two hours to go to my destination. We'll uh, go that they're expecting me there. Deliver that, and then I head over to Edmonton, uh, and I have a reload there Friday, uh, day after tomorrow at noon. So we have some time to get there. Awesome time to kill. It's good. And then we go home. But for now, I'm going to bed. And guess what? I forgot my blanket. It's the second time I forgot my blanket. Good thing I have a spare in the truck here. It's a really thin one, but it does the trick. It's summertime. It's warm outside, anyways. Have a good one, everybody. I'm tired. Look at my eyes. I look half dead. How's that? I look better? I look weird when I'm tired. I'm looking at my little screen here just beside the lens. You can really tell that I'm tired. I look old. Wow. I mean, it's definitely time to go to bed. Have a good night, everybody. I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button if you want early access to my videos uh, a couple of hours early or even a day early at sometimes. Uh, you can uh, uh, follow us on Patreon. Links to all that is down below in the description. Anything that I want to share with you, anything or any place where you can find me on the internet, there's a link to it down below every single video. All the information to who I am, the truck I'm driving, the engine, everything. All the questions I keep getting in the comments over and over and over again. Guys, before you go and comment and ask a question, go into the description below every video. They're all the same. Go down there, see if your question is answered there first. It's most likely, I most likely already answered it in the description of every video, so check that out there. And I'll, uh, I'll see you soon. Take care, everybody. I'm going to go sleep. Time, time for bed.